hello everyone, welcome to a CAD Guild's course on DevOps. The following video aims to introduce you to the software container platform Docker by demonstrating its use in solving DevOps problems. So let's get started. Consider the following scenario. We are developers working for a company called AddressBook. We make a Java-based product, also called AddressBook, that requires an Ubuntu machine, preferably an Ubuntu 14.04. Additionally, it requires Java, preferably Java 1.8 and Tomcat 1.7. The application would need all of these three elements for it to work properly. Now, let's assume there are three people, A, B, and C, who want to buy this product. A is technically proficient. He knows the product and its requirements very well. That is, he knows that the product address book requires Ubuntu 14.04, Java 1.8, and Tomcat 1.7 in order for it to run efficiently. He buys the product with great confidence knowing that he can make the best use of it. Then we have B. B is not so proficient technically. He has some idea of the requirements of the product, but is not fully confident that he can configure his machine in order to meet the product's requirements. He is hesitant to buy the product. Lastly, we have C, who is clueless about any of the product's requirements. C has no idea what Ubuntu, Java, or Tomcat mean. He is interested in the product for its uses, but can in no way use it because he doesn't know how to configure his machine to meet the product's requirements. Now what can we as developers of the product do in such a situation? It makes little sense for us to lose customers B and C and try to run a thriving business by catering only to customers like A. What can we do to help B and C use our product without having to bother about its requirements? The answer is simple. We can change the way our product is delivered. We can deliver it as a package, which removes the burden off B and C's shoulders to meet the product's requirements on their own. B and C can now use our application by issuing a single command like other easy applications. In this case, our package would look something like this. The address book application plus Java plus Tomcat plus any Ubuntu libraries that are necessary. How do we deliver these together? Using Docker. Docker makes it possible for developers to package their product with all its requirements so that the end user does not have to worry about meeting the product's requirements. How does it work? As developers, we can create what is referred to as a Docker image. This image can be shared with the customer who can run it as a container, a lightweight virtual machine that takes care of the product requirements. The image needs only to be created once and can be shared with n number of customers thereafter. In this way, Docker helps resolve the issue of product requirements and makes it easy for the end users of any software product to have the required configuration. In our complete course on Docker, we delve deeper into what Docker really is, how it is different from other virtual machines, its architecture. We explore Docker Daemon, Docker Client, Docker Registry, and Docker API. And lastly, we explain Docker images and containers in greater detail how to create and manage images, how to search and share them, how to manage container life cycles, and how to share the resources with others, for example, your colleagues and partners. Thank you for watching our introductory video on Docker. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest updates and information on all our programs, and join a CAD Guild now to kickstart your dream career.